channel thank you so much for being here and watching today's video i hope you're all doing well wherever you are in the world in today's video i wanted to do a little zara and oasis fashion haul mainly starting with zara and some really gorgeous core pieces that i have been loving lately and then sharing some really fun prints from oasis and how i've been styling them in my wardrobe at the end of the video just to kind of chuck in there and show some pre-spring outfits i know it's not spring yet but i am getting excited i think there's like 36 or 40 days till spring or something like that and I feel like the weather at the moment right now is very very sunny in the UK and in Brighton and we've got very very lucky since coming back from Mexico with just sunshine so I've been feeling in a very spring mood and then I end up going outside and being absolutely freezing <laughs> so I am sharing some more winter styled outfits for being very very cozy and things like that but then also moving into spring like a few little sneak peeks of how I'll be styling some pieces as well. But first up, starting with Zara and actually starting with the knit that I'm currently in. I have literally been living in this since I got it. The feel and quality of this jumper is just gorgeous and I've been really loving styling with lots of neutrals in my wardrobe. So this outfit here is one of those like go-to everyday outfits that I'm really enjoying wearing at the moment. I have this H&M classic cream coat that I've actually had for six or seven years and I feel like each year they keep bringing it out. So it is still online or like very very similar one is still online I believe and it's just one of those classic core pieces that I style all year round with neutral like outfits and tonal pieces in my wardrobe so I felt like with the cream fake leather trousers it really complemented the jumper and just added a little bit more something something with the stripes these are actually navy although I feel like the camera kind of picks them up and makes them look black but they're navy stripes which I really like and then just styling with my Veja Campo trainers which are actually the comfiest Veja trainers that I find personally. I have the V10 ones and I've tried a few out before of friends but Campo is definitely the comfiest pair that I've had and I love the black and white classic pairs. I feel like they just go with absolutely everything. Again I've had these for maybe four or five years and my feet are very fussy when it comes to shoes. I always <laughs> end up having to wear shoes in but with these ones I do in, which I just love so I feel like they really complement neutrals and these just kind of work nicely with the knit itself and I went for a size small in this just so that it was like really kind of comfortable on I didn't go oversized I felt like the sleeves were naturally very kind of slouchy with the small and they fit kind of true to size I'm usually between a six and eight but I will leave all size references and things like that down below but just for reference that's the kind of size I went for just as like a classic piece I can always kind of chuck on for days out and things like that and I'm actually going to Paris very soon so I'm going to be wearing this a lot when I'm there because I just feel like it's the perfect knit for layering over little white tees and vests and then also putting with like cream slouch coats, trench coats and things like that as well. Next up, this gorgeous pink coat. As you guys may know from previous videos, I am a big pink fan. And when I saw this and tried this on in store, this is actually one of the ones I didn't order, I just saw it and I was like, Oh my goodness it's like the perfect shape and fit and I just absolutely love it I love that it's kind of like that cross between being an oversized tailored blazer but then having a bit more of that kind of balloon style to the bottom of it so it works really really nicely with trousers but also skirts in my wardrobe and instantly fell in love with it I've styled it multiple different ways over on my Instagram and I'll leave a few of those ways on the screen here but I just thought the shape and fit of this is stunning and it goes with so much in my wardrobe already and I didn't have anything this kind of shape that will take me from winter into spring. I always find that I wear a lot more kind of crop jackets and more jackets that come just above the knee in spring and summer minus my trench coat whereas like my long slouch coats and things like that when I go into spring and summer are more for evening wear and like layering up and then in the winter months I always wear very long coats to keep super snug and things like that too but loved the fit and style of this I've styled it with my logo tee for more of kind of like an everyday way of styling and then I've been styling it a lot with sheer tights little black mini skirts and black roll necks just to like buttoning it up and putting on a scarf and things like that for being super snug but I just love adding color to my wardrobe so I felt like this was a perfect way to add more color to more of those neutral outfits and also they do it in blue which is this like vibrant gorgeous baby blue so depending if you guys do need more like colored pieces in your wardrobe and you were debating it they 
have the two colorways in this and Zara at the moment are bringing out so many gorgeous like spring bold prints and colors and fully obsessed with it all but stopping myself because I definitely have enough coats and I don't need any more now. <laughs> Next up, this beautiful bold print black and white knit cardigan. Instantly fell in love with the shape and style of this. I love like bold prints and I love cardigans in the winter months with like layering like I've done here with slouch coats, but also taking into spring. I really love wearing it with like mini skirt sheer tights and like chunky boots or my loafers and things like that. And I just thought the quality of this was lovely. It's like a really thick premium fill, very, very kind of comfortable and slouchy on. I went true to size in this again and went for a size small and it fits perfectly kind of over mini skirts or with fake leather shorts if you wanted to do kind of tights and skirts or short combos when styling it but then also looks great with blue jeans, little black trainers or chunky white trainers for like everyday wear and things like that but I just thought multiple different ways of having this as like a core cozy everyday piece in my wardrobe would be like a perfect way of being super snug but also taking me into spring when it gets a a little bit warmer and I don't have to wear a coat anymore I know I'm still going to be super warm with this chucked on too Next up, a little bit more of a dressy outfit, which I've actually styled two different ways with black accessories and also brown accessories. So you can kind of see different ways that I perhaps would style this right now if I was going out for dinner or date nights or dressing up a little bit more for lunches with the girls and things like that. I always tend to style a lot of my kind of going out looks with blazers. I just, for me personally, it's always something that I kind of gravitate towards when I'm styling more of those dressy outfits as I feel like they go with everything. But I know it's like a love it or hate it thing sometimes with blazers so I feel like it would go easily with like a fake leather jacket or a little classic kind of tailored jacket as well if you wanted to dress it down a little bit more but this set the fit and shape of this online when it was on the model I was like stunning looks super super comfortable as well and then when I got it I instantly fell in love with how flattering it is it's got this beautiful kind of ruched detailing up the bum of the skirt so really really flattering on gives you a bum it's great <laughs> And the sides, like it just is super comfortable. It's got that really nice kind of stretch to it. Not too much stretch, but the kind of elasticated stretch where where you sit down, it's not tight and you can't breathe and move around in it. And it's one of those things that I'm always like, can I eat in this? Like, am I gonna be comfortable if I'm going out for dinner and wearing this? And the answer for me was yes. <laughs> Cause I wore this the other day and was super comfortable in it. So I have tried and tested it while going out for dinner. The top, I will say <laughs> to get this on, put it on before you do your makeup. I got stuck in it and Jamie had to like fully help me get out of it and I was, just, it was not a pretty sight basically. You've got this like little zip detail on the kind of shoulder to help you get in and get your head in, which is fine, but it's getting in that I found it hard to get over my boobs. So just saying don't put it on when you've got makeup on if you're going out for a night out because you could get a foundation mark. But the back detailing of this, I just thought was so gorgeous, especially for like summer holidays, going away, any future trips and having that perfect kind of evening outfit or even for now just styling of blue jeans and little court heels or boots or chunky trainers for nights out. I just thought adds a bit more something something and is like that perfect kind of comfy nice top and jean combo or like I've done here styled it as a co-ord and again I feel like with co-ords you can style them so many different ways separately and together which I absolutely love. So Styling with the brown accessories, which I feel like dresses it down slightly with like for me personally and how I kind of style those outfits for like going out with the girls and things like that. Probably something I'd wear for like rooftop drinks or something like that when it's a bit warmer and then going out for like brunches or bottomless brunches with the girls right now would be something that I'd wear. But then styling with more black accessories and then the lower Doc Martens to kind of dress it up a little bit more with the black accessories, but then tone it down with the platform boots, which you could then kind of swap out for like little court heels and things like that if you want to go a little bit more dressy, but thought it was absolutely gorgeous. And they are doing so many like corset tops and styles like that at the moment. So definitely head over online if you're looking for like the perfect kind of nice top to go with any jeans or skirts in your wardrobes. That's it for the Zara pieces, I fully thought there was, oh no, there is one more. <laughs> completely missing. I was like, fully thought there was more for the video. There is more for the video. These trousers, these fake leather black trousers. So you guys saw the cream ones that I have and I've had them for a while now. I've been wearing them on repeat as they're like my perfect kind of comfy winter fake leather trousers. But then I also wanted a black pair that was the same style. Weirdly, they fit completely different to the cream ones. Although I got 
them from the same page in the different colorway of the cream ones. So they should be the same shape, but they fit so much tighter on my bum and my waist. And I'm not really sure why. So I feel like that's something that sometimes Zara can be hit and miss with sizes and shapes and maybe it's production and fabric, who knows. But for me, these were so much tighter on my bum and my waist, which I personally don't mind because I feel like they still fit nicely, but it did mean that the shape of them was less kind of straight leg tapered and more of kind of like a mum fit. So like tighter around my bum and my thighs and then a little bit more tapered around the ankle. But loved the classic shape and feel of these. Loved the fact that they've got belt loops rather than me like constantly wearing my fake lower leggings, which actually are so uncomfortable sometimes like sitting down. And I just wanted a pair that I knew was gonna be comfy around my waist that I could potentially dress up and elevate the look with a belt and things like that. But just styling here, like a classic everyday look, adding the pop of color, bright pink knit, just to kind of bring the outfit to life a little bit more. But I've been wearing them on repeat, so if you guys wanna see different ways of me styling them, then I've got lots of different ways over on my Instagram of styling these. And I have two videos where I style fake leather leggings and fake leather trousers multiple different ways for the winter months. So just in case you guys need any inspo for pieces in your own wardrobes, then I'll leave them linked down below as well. But yeah, that is it for Zara. Now moving on to Oasis. So they are starting to to bring out some of their floral prints and patterns as we move into spring and things like that and I love the fact that when they bring out these like prints and like different shapes and florals and bold patterns and designs they do them in loads of different style pieces so whether it's tops midi dresses like maxi dresses they sometimes do different shaped blouses with like different details of like tie up pieces and things like that and I always love being able to find my favorite print in a floral print and then being able to get them in multiple different shapes in my wardrobe. So I've styled this one print three different ways in their blouse, maxi dress and midi dress. So starting with the blouse, styling with a navy blazer and then classic navy mum jeans. These are actually from Oasis and I wanna say that their jeans are so underrated. Like their jeans are always really amazing quality, really premium fit and fill and like a really nice soft denim. So although you've got this like authentic feel to their jeans, they're always super soft and super comfortable and I constantly am recommending them to my friends who now all have multiple pairs of them in different colours and they're just like a really classic pair of jeans that I love so these being that classic kind of mum fit that I've just started with little black boots here, but you could easily dress this for more everyday wear by chucking on some white trainers, chucking on like your fake leather jacket or a jacket that you love that's more of a shacket style, that's a plain kind of colorway to allow the florals to stand out a little bit more. But I thought these florals were just like a really gorgeous kind of neon, kind of pastel color that I could also style them with more pastel blazers or little jackets layered on and slouch coats and things like that. And then styling this beautiful maxi version in the print with a little blue knit just to kind of complement the blues in the dress. I always find when I have these floral colors and things like that that are a very like main focal point of an outfit, then I always like focus on the colors and different bold prints and designs and then kind of style the pieces around that main patterned piece. So like I've done here, picked up on the blues. I was actually debating styling it with an orange bag as well as the blues, but that kind of made it a lot more kind of summer styling. So I've kind of tried to make it a bit more spring styling and make the focus the dress and style with more blue accessories. But easily you could style with like a little belt, chuck on the knit and then tuck the belt into that part of the dress for more of like a skirt way of styling it too. But I just love the print and shape of this. I think it's such a gorgeous piece, especially for like spring weddings. If you've got any coming up as a guest and you wanted a floral piece to wear, I think the shape of this dress is gorgeous and it comes in multiple different prints and colors as well so I'll leave that link down below and then lastly styling the mini version of this which I think is probably my fave out of the three and I've styled it here in like a bit of a bold way <laughs> I've gone for a fedora hat a neutral trench coat and high knee boots and I just wanted to like make the dress kind of stand out with more of those neutral tones and tonal pieces for moving into spring with a jacket like this. This is kind of like their wool blend trench coat that they have online at the moment in I think four different colors. And it's just like a really premium gorgeous feel to it that I feel like is perfect for layering with like classic white tees and jeans, but then also works really nicely with dresses moving into spring and summer too. But this dress is just gorgeous and something that I will wear in summer on repeat, whether it's just hanging out and putting on like high top like Converse in white or black, or even putting on chunky white trainers or Doc Martin boots for the evening with a fake leather jacket and just adding something, something to an outfit. And then also for special occasions and things like that, I feel like it works really well too. But 
just really beautiful pieces love the shape of the sleeves on both of the dresses as well that I just kind of wanted to chuck in at the end here as I'm getting very excited about spring <laughs> let me know if you guys are as well I feel like I say that a lot in my videos lately but very excited to jump straight into spring content as soon as like middle of March kind of happens so expect more spring styling as we move then but I've got city break outfits coming soon as I'm heading to Paris like I said and I have some date night looks coming a few more just as we move into spring and summer I thought I'd share those kind of ways of wearing different pieces and then trench coat styling multiple ways which I actually found a video as I was browsing through my YouTube where I styled a trench coat last year like 15 different ways and I was looking back and I was like I have all these pieces in my wardrobe I'm just gonna go back and <laughs> use this as old inspo for styling a trench coat but I just find a trench coat so easy to wear so many different ways in all seasons like even in autumn I just live in it so I definitely recommend if you haven't got that kind of capsule wardrobe trench coat in your wardrobe seriously recommend grabbing on for just all year round because it's just so worth it. They just work with everything and it makes it so easy just to kind of chuck on with lots of different pieces in your wardrobe. But that will be coming soon. And if there's anything else you guys want to see, then feel free to let me know down below. And I will see you guys in the next video. Have a lovely one. Lots of love, guys. Mwah. Bye.